everyone hello everyone how are you guys doing today i'm so sorry about the delay i was just re hello everyone how are you guys doing today i'm so sorry about the delay i was just restarting everything to ensure that we don't face technical difficulties so fingers crossed so give me a moment let me um invite everyone <laughs> all right I don't know, lately, uh, even though it's not Mercury retrograde, but I'm facing a lot of technical difficulties. So maybe there's some other <laughs> kind of retrograde. Yes. All right. See, everyone's already messaging me. I'm going to just see I'm on the right window. Yes, I am. All right. Okay, I see two of you, so that's good. So let me just... Um... Hi, Moni, good to see you. Just giving it a couple of minutes until everyone joins me. All right. Hi, Varthi, good to see you. Okay. Yes, I had a lovely week. I hope you guys are having a lovely time too. Let me just invite everyone. Okay. Perfect. So sorry guys about the delay. And again, how is November treating you all? It's quite an interesting month. So <laughs> I hope you're all having a fun time. Because November is a very significant month four twin flames just gonna check i don't know why our people are not able to see let me try okay let me just fix this yes um again people are messaging me they can't see me so let me just try I don't know why I'm not appearing on the feed. Maybe Facebook changed its ups, ice. Okay, MJ is able to share it. Hi, Mai, good to see you. So let me try at. Yep, I think it should work now. So how have you all been? Hi, Mai. Good to see you. Mai says hi to everyone as well. Hi, Rebecca. Oh, <laughs> you thought you were having issues. I think I've been having issues since last week. I don't know what's wrong with uh, going live. <laughs> hi, Rachel. Good to see you. Rachel says hi to everyone. So uh, thanks, MJ. Thank you. I just saw it too. Thank you so much. All right. So, um, are you guys all excited about today's topic? Because today's topic is going to give you a preview, especially if those of you who are nearing union and have been in, and have been in separation for a while, this topic is going to be very, very interesting. And uh, also first, let me do a little bit about the November energies. And before that, thank you, MJ, for running this beautiful group. You are the best. You see, without you, I wouldn't even be able to figure out if I'm on the right space. So thanks so much for all that you do. And all of us appreciate you a lot. And thank you for taking care of us, guarding us, protecting us. Even the other day I was talking to someone about, you know, how much you have done for this group, that it's such a safe space. And um, compared to other groups, you know, so really lucky to run this group with MJ as her co-admin. And I'm very, very privileged to be in this journey with all of you and to deliver all of these lives. Again, what started two years ago as 
just a one-time thing and MJ was the one who encouraged me to do these lives every week so thank you MJ a big shout out to you for being wonderful always again we have a wonderful team of readers guys so if you want to request for readings please do so right now been training a whole bunch of beautiful beautiful individuals who are great psychics readers and healers so feel free to request for them and you can always request for me as well and uh, again mj thanks for bringing us all together you are the best hi don so good to see you. i'm glad you found me <laughs> hi nimit good to see you too so again how are november energies looking like you may have you may feel a little fatigued because many of you have timeline jumped yes to a better timeline so don't worry for twin flame union to take place you have to be in the highest timeline see it, it should make sense right even if you were to look at it from a very technical perspective so if you're on a high vibration automatically good things are going to happen to you when you're vibrating low you're going to attract all kinds of misfortune so quantum timeline jumping is the same you are jumping according to your vibration. So imagine that you have multi-dimensional versions of yourself. And when you jump to the highest timeline, so rather than you trying to fix your current timeline, you are jumping to a better timeline when you shift your mindset and when you shift your approach in life. And that's what makes it very beautiful. As you first enter the twin flame journey or embrace the twin flame journey and realize you are a twin flame on a journey you start to work on yourself and that is a big part of the journey working on yourself because when you don't work on yourself what happens is that some at some point you start working on yourself again that's the beauty of the twin flame journey again what is working on yourself many of you all be like I am working on myself, I am detached, I have surrendered. The question is, have you truly surrendered? You will know it when you're vibrating high. From so many things, you will no longer be attached to day-to-day -day stuff as much. I mean, you will enjoy life. You will value the moments you have with your loved ones. You would even treasure separation as preparation for something beautiful to come so that's when you're truly vibrating high you are in a place of freedom and peace and that's exactly the point when you're going to jump into a higher timeline and get into union good morning diana for a moment i actually thought that <laughs> Daylight savings had already started in the U.S., but, you know, we are still, we are still 12 hours. I'm still 12 hours ahead. Becca says, hello, so many sinus pressure and ear pressure today, but leaning and breathing into all jumps, shifting life over here. It's beautiful. Yes, Becca, it's beautiful. You know, you may find yourself, guys, collectively, that you guys are feeling a bit tired, and this always happens end November, I mean, end October, beginning November, because most of you have jumped timelines. So either, this is what happens to the collective during the month of October, is that either you jump a forward timeline or a backward timeline. Backward timeline happens when you go into a self-destructive, self-disruptive phase where you're whining and pining and complaining and you start pushing your DM away, you start pushing yourself away. You're just going down that well, well of sadness. And often that's why October is a challenging month. The beautiful thing about October is you have the support of your ancestors, you have your support of your guides because the veil is very thin. Most of you who are praying to God, who are very much in alignment, you only jump a higher timeline or even the highest timeline, which is the union timeline. Hello, Catalina. Good to see you. Hi. Hey, Shay. Good to see you. And Shay says hey to everyone. So I am talking about a much awaited topic, which is what would life be like after union? And before that, I just wanted to touch on the energies of November. So now that most of you have jumped a higher timeline, you guys are in a very beautiful space right now. 
So in order to calibrate to the new energies, you may be experiencing, like what Becca says, sinus pressure, ear pressure, <laughs> fatigue, um, tiredness, unexplained tiredness. So this is what you call timeline jumping lag, jet lag. So what you experience after traveling nonstop for many, many hours, you are experiencing now. Next up, you are also in a period of time where November is the month for Twin Flames. November is a special and that's why you have the 1111 portal and I've got a special healing for that. You guys can check it out. It's in my link. Um, and um, again, I have limited spots. So first come, first serve basis. So if you guys want, get in fast. Um, this is the one. I'm sharing it here. Oops. Okay, so having said that, again, what to expect this month? Because, you know, this is the first life of this month. Just stay calm, stay relaxed, be at peace. The more calmer you are, the more you're going to attract favorable circumstances towards you, including unions. Because 2024 is going to be the year of the most number of unions Earth has ever seen in this cycle but in order to be there you have to also surrender to God surrendering to God is a must again I'm not talking about God in a religious context I'm talking about God to you you have your own connection with God your own relationship with the higher power but it's very very crucial to embrace God surrender to God be in gratitude to God and then you are definitely on the right path which is in alignment again i've got some activators and soul realignment stuff which i highly recommend which will also bring you there but however your journey you have it in control always another thing to note is your dm is about a couple of months behind you so sometimes you may ask me i do feel like i am in a place of complete detachment and surrender but why am i not seeing any miracles or magic because you need to consider that time lag that happens in the 3d world having said that i'm going to start with the topic what is life in 3d like after union well 3d problems are not going to miraculously disappear hey marion so good to see you just starting the topic and i just did a collective review of november and post october so what would life be like when you are in union so there are three types of union one is partial union one is unawakened union and the final one is the real union. So I'm going to start with unawakened union. So unawakened union happens, if not, you will never have trust and faith in this journey. So this could be a couple of months to a couple of years. But at some point, you are going to separate in 3D. And it's going to be a very, very, very difficult. In fact, it's going to be one of the hardest separations ever. Because you have no clue, like, what happened, you know, what could have done wrong. We seem to have been. And often when you are in an unawakened union, you are aligned, but in an unawakened way. Another kind of partial union is that one um, party is more awakened than the other. So it could be the DM, DF. It, doesn't matter the roles can be reversed usually it is the df but in some cases it could be the dm too in these cases it's what you call a series of mini unions and many separations and then you've got the final one awakened union in 3d physical so i will start with the fun one first right so what happens when you are detached, when you're in gratitude, when you have surrendered, when you have jumped the highest timeline and you are actually in 3D physical union with your twin flame? Number one, <laughs> love making between you is going to be multi-dimensional. You are no longer going to be bound by earth-based 
love making method so you're not just going to have intercourse and and be satisfied with life you're going to actually experience love making in many 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 different kinds of levels sometimes you might even be love making astrally while you're love making in 3d so it's going to happen multi-dimensionally so this experience is going to be as though you are high but without the drugs hi tamara so good to see you wow i actually see quite a number of people today so you guys all must be fascinated about today's topic again your impression towards love make, making shifts massively you're no longer bound by 3d love make, making techniques what you're going to experience is very very beautiful it's going to be mind-blowing it's something that you have never experienced before it's something that cannot be described as well so let me take a scenario so if an unawakened twin flame get into awakened union you're going to have a completely different sex life it's not going to be what you had previously what you're going to have after awakening and being in union it's like you're literally your physical bodies are merging into one you're becoming oneness and that's when you're going to experience the highest form of joy ever available the one where you no longer know where you are that is orgasmic joy or state of ecstasy or you can describe it in fact you only see poets and um, spiritual masters describing it but again you have to experience it to fully understand and it's going to happen for all of you all so that is something to look forward to and then all of your past lovers wounds how you've been treated before everything will disappear and then you will finally understand wow this is why they meant say sex is sacred and sexual energy is powerful energy because it's creator energy and all this while we have been wasting our time with the wrong people like i say when the right key <laughs> enters the right lock you unlock a universe that you have never seen before and that is in summary twin flame love making and after that it's all about exploration it's all about growing and evolving and and when you are in that energy so you're you're no longer going to be aroused just with love making you're going to be aroused in each other's presence that's how powerful it's going to be in fact even when you were in partial union or unawakened union you were experiencing glimpses of that um, but for a lot of twin flames even they're in partial union or kind of in um, unawakened union they don't have sex so quickly this is a trend that you may have noticed with twin flames there are two extremes either you sleep together very quickly or you take a very long time to unite intimately so there are two categories to that but anyway life on 3d however as i had experienced about the wonderful sex life that you may have you're still going to have 3d problems but your approach towards 3d problems shifts massively that's when you make decisions or choices that you ever have never made before like quitting your job and going on an adventure with your dm or you may still do everything like you had done uh, before you were in union so either there will be massive changes or there'll be no changes at all but you will be in a more content state in life you'll be more joyous you'll be more blissful most in importantly you'll be at peace another thing you won't care whether your dm leaves you or not because you have attained that level of surrender and detachment and gratitude for the moment nothing would matter anymore because you're treasuring moment to moment you're living moment to moment and you're truly grateful for what god has given you what life has given you and that is the entire beauty 
of 3D Union. And trust me, it, it gets better and better as it goes. It's like you're growing together, you are evolving together, but most importantly, you are in alignment. Think about it. It's like you don't even have to communicate in words anymore. You are like telepathic. Again, right now, like I said, what used to be 0.2% has slowly increased to 2 to 4% unions. But my prediction is in the next 10 years, 20% will get into full awakened union with your twin flame. 2024, we're going to see a significant increase. Also, with everything that's going on energetically, that 20% can even increase to 30 or 40%. It all depends on you and depends on how much you're willing to heal, willing to let go, willing to fight, willing to go on with this journey. For some, like I always say, you have got missions. So you may be in fully awakened union, but your mission might cause you to experience mini separations. But often when you are in awakened union, you are even doing these missions consciously. So you might have a traveling job. So your divine masculine might be traveling a lot for work or you may be traveling a lot for work. Then you'll be like, why? We just got into union, but it's like it's harder and harder and harder to see each other. But when you awaken, those things won't matter anymore. Like I said, the moments count. Another big question is, children, would we make twin flame babies? Absolutely. There is a possibility for that. So again, there are two categories. You may want to welcome children or you may not want to welcome children. And that is a personal choice that you would make as a twin flame couple. Again, is there what you call twin flame union narcissism? Well, there shouldn't be. If there is, it is unawakened union. <laughs> and then separation is not far behind. So there are people, number one, they might be not twin flames and they may be going on saying, I'm in union, union, union all the time. Those who are in union, would hardly say they are in union because they are happily in union. See, even I hardly talk about my union except when I want to use it as a context in my discourses or in my channelings or anything like that. Besides that, the true twin flames who are awakened will only talk about their union if there is a necessity to. Of course, you would celebrate with your fellow twin flame friends, which is normal because you're all supporting each other on your journey. But then you have a group of people who are just saying that they are union, but probably they are not twin flames. They could be soulmates. They could be highly complicated, complex, complicated, probably complicated. Who knows? Another thing is I'm going to talk more about day to day problems. They are not going to change. As long as you are in a 3D body, you're still, go, you're still prone to illnesses. You are still prone to misfortunes. It's just that your mindset will change. Whatever is it, you're going to take it on with your divine masculine. Some twin flame unions are short-lived. Some twin flame unions till death do your part because you're still going to meet each other after death right so it doesn't matter either way but some are quite tragic you know they experience union together for a couple of years and one of them illnesses or anything like that could happen the most important thing is you have an open mindset so there is another group of twin flames who get into partial union you know so they kind of awaken and they get into union and they self-sabotage they are so afraid of losing their divine masculine again what they do is that they self-sabotage everything they start <laughs> becoming jealous for example or they start questioning their dm or vice versa it could happen to either gender or they might just make it a self-fulfilling prophecy. I don't deserve this happiness. So you are tasting the beauty of union, but yet you're afraid you're going to lose that union. So you yourself volunteer for that connection to break. 
And then another category, see I've got 19 viewers and 19 comments. <laughs> another category is external sabotage that rarely happens you know you don't have societal separation like 100 200 years ago where family or you had the feudal system or you had the caste system and stuff like that but the not so good energies are going to be lingering around hence you have to be above that so for example your dm gets a message from a random person he met at a bar before you got into union you can't allow things like that to trigger you because these are what you call npcs non-player characters trying to separate you so that you won't be able to exit the matrix like i said twin flame union means exiting the matrix because you're vibrating in 70. so in other words your vibration becomes seventh dimensional and above isn't that fantastic absolutely it is and you maintain that constant state and that's why love making is different it's no longer just sex which normal human beings again there's nothing wrong with it they get beautiful pleasure out of it but twin flame sex is multi-dimensional so you may still be experiencing traditional 3d kind of sex but you're going to have all of that unlocking dimensions and moments so it's just going to be out of this world so for a lot of people after they have sex they are tired and they fall asleep with twin flame sex you're going to be in such a relaxed state when you fall asleep and wake up the next morning you feel like you are superman and superwoman that's what it does it heals you it example you have ailments or anything in your body you are like healing each other and that's how potent the energies are so hence why a lot of unions are taking place right now because it's so necessary to anchor twin flame 70 kind of love on earth So MG says, yes, trust is very, very important. And one thing I was tested a lot during Timeline Jumps was about trust. Until I learned my lesson, trust and alignment with God between counterparts are priorities. Exactly, 100%. That's why the basic, basic thing you can ever do if you want to get into awakened union is to trust, surrender to God. You have to trust God. You have to trust your counterpart. And trust is a big thing. And I'm happy that MJ raised it. And as I was talking about it, you cannot let little distractions make you become <laughs> partial or unawakened. You know, that's why I've split it into three categories for the sake of knowing where you belong. Because a lot of you may be like, I'm already in union. Yeah. And then why are you trying to persuade other people that you're in union? You know, you're in union, you must be... You must be doing your own thing. See, the most quietest couples are the ones who are very, very happy in love. And we know that even in 3D connections, the ones who pose the most fight the most. And there's nothing wrong with fighting. But when it comes to a point when you are no longer compatible with each other, that becomes a problem. And this I'm sharing as my experience as a lawyer who does family divorces, as in family law. And I do divorce cases too. Very sad. People get married for the wrong reasons. And, and that's exactly why we have twin flame relationships right now. So that people are motivated and inspired to seek. Thank you for that, Tamara. No one needs outside validation. To seek internal validation. You don't need, the only witness to your union should be you and your twin flame and God. That's all. Because God is the one who gets you to that place. And if you don't, if you're still going to be in the ego that I did it myself, no. Without divine intervention, awakened union is not possible. It is a fluke. You're in partial or unawakened union. And when you're in awakened union, you're not going to have trust issues with your divine counterpart. And every time you have trust issues, then you're going into partial or unawakened. Secondly, it doesn't matter at all 
what you are going to do in life. Sometimes you may be like, what is my mission? I'm still lost. I'm in union with my DM, but we are just doing the... What you're doing is the mission. You being exactly who you are is the mission. Because you have... I've been talking about the different years, right? Those who unite in different years and what is their purpose. Those who met in different years. So I'll probably do a series on the year you unite and what could be your purpose as well. Every set of twin flames have different purposes. What's the point of having the same purpose? You're not robots. You are souls. <laughs> you are here to raise the vibrations of Earth. Why would you want to be the same mission? Serve the planet. And serving the planet could be done in so many different ways. Balancing energetic grids. So more unions happen. You might find yourself in different locations. You may be like, hey, I'm not practicing my previous career i'm actually doing something else i've become an author now uh, or you might find yourself suddenly being in spain or being in uh, egypt or being in bora bora for no reason you know and you're like why am i even here it's all mission related you are there to anchor certain codes to balance certain energetic codes to transmute energies from where you are some movement is temporary some movement is permanent so you might be posted your divine masculine might be posted to a certain place for a certain job and you may need to follow him which means you need to quit your career or vice versa anything can happen but whatever happens it is part of your mission that is guided by the galactic council and god so what do you have to do be peaceful and go with the flow don't worry about tomorrow. If tomorrow has to happen, it will happen. Another thing is you are living in an illusion within an illusion. So whatever happens here, it's not permanent. You have to understand that. Secondly, even after you die, you're going to be in union again in the next place. Unless you're stuck in the Matrix, then you're going to be in the Matrix 4 kind of movie situation where Trinity and you are searching for each other lifetime after lifetime. But thankfully, they united and they kind of escaped the matrix, but they chose to come back into the matrix to help people awaken. You see, that is the perfect example of awaken union. If you have watched the latest matrix movie, when Neo and Trinity awaken and paint the sky rainbow, that is awakened union, guys. And the benefits of awaken union is is it's beautiful for the gut you become healthier because you're finally having what you call pure sex you are also becoming the best version of yourself you become such a joy to people you are an inspiration to other people people love you and your divine counterpart because you're so grounded and humble and and full of life and full of love and you mind your own business you're not judging anybody in fact one of the missions is you help other twin flames another mission is you're traveling around the world aimlessly balancing energetic magnetic grids to ensure that we are bringing earth to a higher vibration because earth has been stuck in 3d for too long and the original vibration of earth is 5d but now the whole plan is to bring it to 6d 7d so that everyone can exit the matrix for good at least the souls on earth at the moment so guys do you have any questions about today's topic is there anything else you would like to know in particular how 3d physical union would be like okay so the not so fun part is that life is still going to be normal you're still going to have to pay your bills you still have to earn a living to survive <laughs> still going to get into 3d problems still going to have issues still you still might go through health related career related life related the only thing that you win is you win the war on love <laughs> But even then, you will still have 3D arguments with your divine counterpart. It's not going to be like you are so synced that you become like robots. No, you're still going to. But this time, you are doing it with awareness. You're doing it with awakening. You're going to enjoy life on earth with awareness. So that's what's beautiful. But you're still going to argue about the bills. You're still going to argue about the children. You're still going to argue about the children that you haven't had or the children you already have. <laughs> mm. 
you're still going to have things where you will dislike about your DM, 3D habits, like he might be gaming too much, for example, or he may be still having his quirks, certain habits about him that you might not like. He might, for example, he may place his toothbrush in a certain place and you may be like, no, don't place the toothbrush there. And he might keep doing it because that is his 3D attributes and personalities. And even when you're awakened, there are certain things you might still dislike about each other. And that's okay. Uh, Moni says, crazy because I'm shifting into marketing and finishing classes currently. Eric just changed his career door. Well, that is direct mirroring. And uh, one thing I always talk to you guys about talk to you guys about is direct mirroring and contrast mirroring. So this is what life after awakened union is. Partial union is the worst because you think you're fully awakened but you still get into separation and I really, my heart goes out to this category, you know, because you guys think that, hey, I finally, I'm finally there and then, you know, we are separated within two weeks or, or worse, the separation lasts longer. Unawakened union is like ignorance is bliss. So you're kind of like existing, happy together, but not aware of your spirituality yet. So being in the middle is the worst. So ignorant is not so bad, but you're not going to fulfill the purpose of exiting the matrix. So those who are unawakened union might end up reincarnating for better cycles to get into the awakened union phase. Partial union is the worst phase to be, but it's also the best phase to be because then you know you are headed in the direction towards awakened union because you force yourself to awaken in a divinely orchestrated way as well. So yes, guys, trust. Because a lot of twin flames have very huge age gaps. And or you have cultural reasons, you have got racial, you have a lot of things that are out of the norm of a normal connection. So how do you actually explore these issues, face these issues? You accept your twin flame. You see, example, uh, some twin flames, their DM could be like, 20 years younger than them, I'll be like, you can't be fixated on that age gap because he's not thinking about it because he's attracted to you beyond age and time and vice versa. See, for women, it's usually not the case, but you may be wrong because your divine masculine may feel like you're too young, you're immature, you might not be the right person or, you know, like, or he might be pressured by friends and family, or he may not trust that love like this can exist. So this age gap thing is a problem for both sides, for both genders, for whichever. I also have a question from Gabriel. How would you know if you were partially awakened or fully awakened, please? Partially awakened, you would be asking this question, Gabriel. <laughs> fully awakened, you'll be at peace. Fully awakened is where you are no longer worried about 3D stuff like you were worried about. So for example is that when you are partially awakened, everything is going to stress you out. You're still going to pick fights with your DM unnecessary. But when you're fully awakened, you're going to accept your DM for the way it is. Example, he does message someone. He met in the bar 10 years ago. You're not going to be triggered by it because you know that you're fully awakened and you're fully in union and your DM has got 100% freedom to whoever he wants to talk to. But remember, your DM is not going to cheat on you. If that is happening, then you're not in a twin flame connection most of the time, unless it's some kind of a mission thing. Most of the time, everything happens in alignment. Even the time you met your DM, some married couples meet their DM when their marriage is breaking or DF. So often everything will be in perfect alignment, especially when other parties are involved. Again, when you are fully awakened, but you don't maintain your fully awakened state, you can drop to partially awakened or fully asleep unawakened state as well so it is work but effortless work when you're in awakened stage so like i said the example will be Neo and um, trinity awakened union but in the matrix serving mankind 
Thank you, MJ, for that. So MJ says when you're fully aligned and fully awakened, it really doesn't matter. All these age differences, cultural differences, religious differences, destination differences. You can literally be oceans apart and you would feel like you are in complete, complete state of peace and bliss. Exactly. So thanks for that. Another thing is don't beat yourself. If you're aware you are in partial um, awakened state or unawakened state, you can move to the next state. It's, I'm just putting it in a very technical perspective so that you feel what is the next step in your journey because that is usually the question for divine feminines. You know, you are seeking guidance in the 3D world. <laughs> and and most of you are here because you have surrendered to God. Like I said, this is a sacred space. Most people don't even find my life. I've only started releasing them on YouTube for the sake of playlists. Again, I've been doing these lives for over two years. And truth is, I haven't uploaded everything on YouTube because, you know, I have to download, I have to upload, and I may have missed some. The point is, everything happens for a reason. Anything you come across. But some things you have to do consciously and with full awareness too. You can't just... You have to be conscious of what you allow into your system, be it food, be it knowledge, be it content. You need to always have this. It's when you have a strong relationship with God. You're always placed in situations that are favorable to your evolution and growth. See, I had a lot of twin flames in the beginning. Their only objective is I want to be in union with my DM. And I often ask why. They have nothing to say. It just they, Their carnal desires just want them to be with their DM because they're afraid of loss and then you have past life. But once they are healing and once they are healed, they completely surrender. They're 100% detached. And even when they get into union, you hundred like I'm in union, I'm 100% detached. I don't worry about the tomorrow. But at the same time, I'm prepared for anything to happen. You know, anything that happens, I leave it to God. I surrender to God. I'm here. God gave me life. God gave me gifts. That's why I'm here talking to you guys. So you have to always be in that vibration of gratitude with God. And that's what's going to create miracles. And that's how you're going to become the best version of yourself. So if you guys have no more questions, then I will move on. Thank you, Tamara. I will move on to the channeling part. But let me drink some water. <laughs> Again, guys, thank you all for your tips. You know, you guys are beautiful. And I really, really, really appreciate that. Your tips help me to create more content, which I'm able to deliver more stuff. Like I've started the whole daily channeling what your DM is feeling today. You know, Again, you know, you may re resonate. You may not. It's up to you what you want to take. So that's why do it consciously. Do it with alignment and do it with lightness of your heart. And then you will enjoy life more. So again, I'm going to do the channelings in the order of the tips. Again, if you guys um, want a live channeling, here is my PayPal. I really appreciate all your support and tips. Uh, Moni, Moni says, I'm 10 years older than him and I'm brown and he's white, but we don't even think about it because that's what God wanted. Exactly. When you're in alignment with God, you don't worry about anything anymore, you know. And often that is the beauty of Twin Flame Connection. There will be some kind of a difference, you know, age gap, different um, races, different upbringing, but you will still have a lot of similarities. You know, when you get into union, you will realize that a lot of things that happen to you, you may have shared similar life experience. So there would be a lot of direct mirroring even before you met. All right, so let me see the order. Okay, so as usual, it's Annette <laughs> who sent me a tip on 2nd November itself. <laughs> okay, again, thank you all for your tips. And again, before I start, any question, guys? Again, I will do another live about this at some point again. And again, guys, under my album, please feel free to leave a review. 
under my album you know if you have enjoyed these lives if you have enjoyed these channelings that will mean a lot to me another thing is that if you have any topics you want me to talk about please do suggest them as well Catalina asks a question I've always I I have always questions, but this life is unexpected. So I hope I may ask without, oh no, please. These tips are again, um, again, it's up to you, you know, it's, it's, it's for the channeling. And um, so don't worry about it, Catalina. How is he really doing? It feels dark, but at the outside, he appears as a successful leader of his company, Triggers Keep Death. I just have to go in order of the tips because, you know, like I said, people have, started tipping me from 2nd November, so I just have to go in order, so I will, um, yeah, I have to be fair in that regard, and again, the tipping system has really given me the ability to do things in order, because I don't miss anyone, um, so yes, Catalina, I will get back to you with that towards the end, so I'm going to do, um, all of those who have tipped me in the order of when I received the tips. Okay, so what is in store for you, Annette? What is November looking like for you? November energies are very, very promising as you are approaching the 1111 portal. Things are looking beautiful. However, you both are still shedding off a lot of pain from past lives. Also, from the present, you're still, especially your divine masculine, is going through intense level ego neutralization. So in other words, he has, he has been a person who has always lived by principles. He has always lived by his moral principles. That is his upbringing. He always wants to do right by other people to the point that he had become an ego game. Like you have to live a righteous life. So that is shedding off. Now he's at a point where he wants to do anything he wants according to his heart's and soul's desire. So that's what's happening right now, Annette. And it's very, very, very beautiful. Because there is so much transformation. There is so much energetic upgrades going on. There is all of that awakening that's happening right now. Especially for him. I feel like he is ready. And 2024 is going to be your year where you both get into a miraculous union. At least to you, it will look miraculous because you have very, very low expectations of what is going to happen, which is good because the low expectations equates to detachments. And see, it's good to think and fantasize about your DM. It's very healthy. But at the same time, to practice detachment. And both of you are doing it very beautifully. Because often, your past lives are anchoring those moments that you think that it's wishful thinking or fantasizing, but it's actually real. Either, Annette, you are seeing glimpses of the future and vice versa. Your DM is seeing glimpses of the future or you are seeing your past lives together when you were in union together. So in terms of chakras, you guys are emerging. I see major solar plexus activations between you and your divine masculine, Anand. Very, very, very beautiful. So much, so much of energy exchange going on between the both of you. So what are the messages your divine masculine wants to say? So he wants you to, again, do nothing. Just be there. Don't do anything. Just be yourself. And also, your divine masculine wants you to know that he loves you no matter what. If you're happy, if you're sad, if you are... But when he's around you, the world stops. He has nothing to say because... That moment of nothingness is everything to him. And hence why he's dancing around you, you're dancing around him. And it's beautiful because what you are experiencing is divinely orchestrated too. You need these moments to build that solidity in the 3D world. So the messages I have from your angels are that you are doing a fantastic job. Keep doing what you're doing. You're expanding, you're growing 
However, 3D energies do kick in for both of you. So sometimes if you're feeling down, it's actually your divine masculine energies and hence that's why you're feeling the way you're feeling so again take a moment surrender to god try to release everything and it's okay not to be okay as well so these are the messages from your angels that you're doing great and it's okay to be not okay especially when you're awakening when you're releasing when you're growing things will keep happening for you so I hope you have enjoyed today's channeling, Annette. And final message from your DM. See, your DM is just coming through a lot today. Just wants you to not give up on him and to accept him for all he is, all his flaws, because he feels he's not good enough for you. And he feels that he might not be able to keep you happy. So this is his 3D thought. So this is what he wants you to know, that not to give up on him and that he will make a move soon and just to be ready and to be accepting and not to reject him. So that is the parting message for you today. Today. And then, and again, guys, before I go, I'm doing it in the order of tips received. So I apologize if you guys have questions. So even if you don't tip me towards the end, I also still do free channeling. So please, but I just have to follow the order so that I don't miss anyone. So I apologize for that. So I'm so sorry about that, Catalina. You'll probably be asleep. Um, so you could probably find your channeling towards the end. Again, guys, thank you all for your tips. And before I go on to the next channeling, I have the 1111 portal healing. Again, I do it live, in person, individually with you. So the spots are ready and open now. So if you want, you can book. It's up in the link. I also highly recommend the activators, the 3D, 4D, 5D, and the soul realignment. I highly recommend you get them having a bit of promotion so do check them out i've also introduced a lot of new services check them out too so next up who do i have See, next time I need to <laughs> write it down on paper instead of going through. Next up, I have Shannon. Shannon, how are you here? If you're not here, you told me that you're going to fall asleep early. So anyway, what's going on with Shannon? Again, Shannon, you see, your DM is speaking to you. Your, DM, your, your DM's higher self is speaking to you. And he wants you to trust yourself, to trust God, and to trust the connection. You may get a million different advices from all over the world all over but your biggest lesson at this time is to trust your intuition with regards to the connection right now you're going through a separation phase which is healthy and you are also learning detachment and soul growth so a lot is happening and your divine masculine is mirroring that too so it might be kind of stressful at the moment because there's a lot that is happening However, be strong, Shannon. And you, you, were, you did tell me that you have been extremely tired and fatigued and that is very normal due to the timeline jumping. But at the same time, you have been calm, which shows that you are jumping. You have jumped to a higher timeline. So it's good that you cal calculate the pros and cons, which is important in the 3D world. However, you are being guided by your divine masculine to surrender. To not be overly rational or, I mean, it's okay to be rational and logical. But sometimes in the twin flame journey, you just have to let go so that it will come back to you. So the biggest giveaway is that accept him for who he is but also be hopeful and grateful that things will change and there will come a point where you're both able to experience and enjoy the unconditional love between the both of you energetically there's a lot of stress in the heart chakras 
but that's okay again there is a lot of <laughs> stress in the third eye chakras as well because both of you are analyzing and questioning the relationship but that's the thing you're even question questioning and analyzing the connection because you love each other so much if not why even try to put context to it you know you can happily move on and see other people but you're not able to because this is a period of growth and change for both of you so keep praying to god keep accepting things the way they are but also allow for life to change because life is about change constantly things are changing circumstances are changing new opportunities are coming your way you the only constant is you being in alignment with your journey with your missions your role as a star seed and being in alignment with god so shannon i have i hope you have enjoyed this channeling and the messages that i am getting from your divine masculine is that you have misunderstood him he never felt the way he felt it's just that his actions always come out wrong he is authentically looking for a genuine connection with you but however things get very stressed out because you get into states of impartial union or unawakened union and it always ends up becoming a huge problem because you are always always arguing and going through many separation which is all right because it's part of the journey so he wants you to hold tight and allow the universe to flow into you so the messages i have from the universe to you would be to you know it's okay to be what you're doing logical rational it's also okay to surrender a little and and that's the nudge from the universe to you shannon i hope you have enjoyed that so next up i have got I've got Barthi, I've got Mai, I've got Rachel. I've got Jessica. I've got Dawn. I've got Rebecca, I have got Nimith, I've got Shay, I've got Diana, I've got Marion, I've got Irene, I have got Tamara, I have got Gabriella, I have got Monique, and I've got Catalina. So, all right. See, guys, I'm getting older, so now I'm taking more breaks. <laughs> Age is catching up in the 3D world for me. All right, next time I have Mai. I really love it how Annette and Mai, you know, you guys are always <laughs> the first. All right, Mai, what is in store for you? So energetically, things are looking very promising, very inspirational, very motivational. However, there is a lot of doubt between the each between each of you like both of you are doubting the journey and that is happening because your divine masculine is not able to accept that such a love exists so you may be feeling that a little and then you may also be questioning what am i doing how is this journey going to do what life is about so it's very very interesting what is happening right now between the both of you as much there is doubt there is also strength in the journey as well as you are being activated and growing and expanding you are shedding off things that are not necessary anymore and your divine masculine is going through something similar to the dark night of the soul so you might see him rescinding a lot more than before and that is completely normal so what you're experiencing is a dark, sort of a dark night of the soul at the same time you are also experiencing soul shock 
So you may be having moments where you feel very, very connected and also disconnected. And that might trigger states of fear and objectivity and rationality as to what is it? What have I signed up for? This is exactly the moment where you surrender to God. Oh, keep going to the temple. However way you want to connect with God, that is you and God. And also allowing your divine masculine to come into terms with his own energetic debate. Because he knows you are the one and he knows that he's going to be with you forever and ever. However, understanding what is going on is what's causing him doubt, skeptical, being skeptic, skeptic, skepticness. But however, his heart calls out to you and your heart calls out to him. So right now, things might look a little bit like up and down, but it's going to stabilize soon because you're entering November and it's all about change. It's all about hope. It's all about transformation. So you may see a 360 degree turn in your connection in the coming weeks. So what are the messages your divine has masculine has for you? My, he wants you to know that he's a, he has a lot of res respect for you. However, he gets very nervous around you because you are so successful. You are so full of love. You're so full of light and you're so full of expansion and experience. And he feels he's never going to be good enough for you because he feels he's flawed. So that's what he's trying to say. You know, would you accept me for who I am? Would you accept my flaws? Even though he knows you would, but would you fully accept him for all of his darkness and light. So that's his dilemma. And his higher self messages for you is that please accept him for whoever he is because you're both parts of a puzzle that needs to be together in order to expand to the next level. So the time has come to get into full awakened union and now the upgrades are at its most intense. So be nice to each other, be nice to yourself most importantly and keep having gratitude to the universe, God and be in surrender mode to anything that has to come because trust and believe that only good things are coming ahead. So the messages I have from the universe for you, Mai, is that you are doing excellent, you are doing a great job and life is marvelous, miraculous, things are shaping up. To reach its highest potential, all you have to do is surrender and keep going. I hope you have enjoyed today's channeling, Mai. And finally, your chakras are looking good. There's a lot of uh, golden light that is being transmuted between both of you. Golden light is amazing because that shows that you are both healing. And things are looking very, very promising between the both of you. And your chakras are expanding. You may be experiencing... A random, random timeline um, experience as well. In other words, you may be experiencing higher dimensions like the 18th and 19th quite randomly. So you're going to have pockets of uh, joy and you're also going to have pockets of emptiness. So you're going to go between both of that. But predominantly, things are looking very good. So keep holding on to that light, to that positivity, to that golden light. So next up, I have got Rachel. I have got Rachel. So Rachel, what's up? What's going on for you at the moment? So Rachel, always fun and interesting because your divine masculine is highly, highly, highly an overthinker. He thinks too much about everything. One moment he's just 100% surrendered to you, your energy is then another moment he's afraid and he goes into runner mode. It's like <laughs> he swings like a pendulum the fastest. For I've read for so many twin flame couples, but your divine masculine is the most adventurous and exciting. And, and, and one of the biggest reasons is because you guys have been this journey for over 20 years now so hence there's a lot of unpanned emotions and feelings and this month is going to be the month of 
expression, expansion, and soulful growth. Because things are becoming greatly in alignment. And he is discovering that, Rachel. He is discovering that change. He's discovering how much you have changed energetically. Right now, when he connects to your energy, he feels peace. He feels freedom. He feels higher level awareness. And he is amazed at that transformation you're going through. And, and he's so proud of you. His higher self wants you to know that he's extremely, extremely fascinated by your growth and progress. And, and he's saying that his 3D self can't wait to be in physical union with you. However, there's still some shedding he's doing. And all he's asking for is time and patience because things are in alignment. Things are going really, really, really well. And things are going to happen in your favor. In terms of his chakras, again, his throat chakras are pretty clouded at the moment. So there's a lot of things he wants to say, but he's not able to express it. So again, you might find pockets of ups and downs with him. Right now, telepathic communication as, is at its all-time high, so you will be communicating with him in 5D. So you may be receiving a lot of signs, symbols, communication between each other. So that is a good sign. So look out for them. Because those are your guidelines. So the messages from your angels are that they are very proud of you. Doing an extremely, extremely excellent job with yourself. You're healing, you're expanding, you're in gratitude with the universe. You're trusting your divine masculine, the journey and God 100%. So great times are coming for you, Rachel. I hope you have enjoyed today's channeling. And finally, his messages towards you is that he doesn't want you to give up on him and he knows that you guys have been in this for a long time and all he wants is peace and stability exactly what you want and he knows that it's going to take time but you both are working towards that beautiful awakened union that you both deserve and the time is due so 2024 is a year to look out for rachel so next up Yes, I have got Bharati. So, what do I have for you? All right, just give me a moment, guys. Just bear with me a moment, guys. I just want to check that I'm doing it in proper order. All right. See, I actually, I actually had it written out. <laughs> All right. So, okay, I'm done with Annette. I am done with Shannon. I'm done with Rachel. All right. Next up, I have got Jessica. Yep. Next up, I've got Jessica. Just a moment, Jessica. Let me see what question you have here. And my, thank you so much, Vaish. That was beautiful. Appreciate your time for doing for doing this for us. You're most welcome, my. Always, always a pleasure. All right. All right, so this is Jessica's message. 
Hi, sending angel tip for channeling during the live you're doing. I work tonight, so I won't be able to join the beginning, but I'll be on as soon as I get off work. Looking forward to the topic of what it's like in 3D Union. Thank you so much for all you do. So I don't know, Jessica, if you have already joined us, <laughs> but if you are not here yet, um, hello, <laughs> Jessica, good to see you <laughs> when you do see this. And what do I have in terms of channeling for you today? Well, things are looking very, very... Okay, things are actually looking very adventurous. So interestingly, there's a lot of adventure-based energies that's coming through. As though your divine counterpart wants to express a lot of things, but he has been holding back a lot and... Right now is a time where it's exploding multidimensionally. So there's a lot of communication. If you just sit back and relax and uh, at peace and you will be able to receive these messages. So it's a very, very interesting period going on right now. Because what is happening is that your divine masculine is going through a complete reset. So energetically, he's experiencing... A very very interesting period because his heart chakra and throat chakra are being activated simultaneously so in other words he's bursting out of love and expression so even if these things might not come through in 3d as much as it's meant to there is a lot of messages coming through in 5d and some of the messages are his underlying love for you how much he has loved you lifetime after lifetime time after time and all of the past lives are just downloading into him and suddenly is awakening to that multi-dimensional possibilities he had with you previously and he's also geared up for it in this lifetime and in the now so a lot of magical transformation is taking place between the both of you so he wants you to be prepared for anything be surprised for anything and things are just looking very adventurous energetically he also wants you to embrace the now more than before because there will be challenges on your path however he's got your back you've got your back and you are energetically protected by the galactic council and your soul family so there's there's ironclad protection going on between the both of your hands he wants you to not worry about 3d issues and things are happening accordingly in divine timing of course, he's very anxious, so you might be picking onto his anxious energies and he apologizes for that in advance. He doesn't want to, but um, <laughs> that's where he, he, he is at. Also, there, there's a lot of downloads taking place between the both of you. So he wants you to actually embrace them as they come. At the same time, not be overwhelmed by them either. So the messages I am receiving from your angels, Jessica, is that you are being activated for your mission, your twin flame mission right now. So a lot of surprises are coming ahead for you in the coming months, November, December, January onwards. So be prepared for the impossible. So you are being activated, which means anything can happen. So you're going to see a lot of signs, symbols, things. So you might be seeing, seeing a lot of angel numbers. These are your guides that each one of your mission codes are being activated. So it's also going to be a very stressful time for your physical body. So it's very important to eat well, sleep well and drink well to transmute those incoming energies. Your divine masculine is more and more present in 5D, so open up your heart and your consciousness to more 5D communications. And there are many secret encrypted messages coming through for you, Jessica. So just be open. It's going to be transformational. So in terms of future predictions, it's looking extremely, extremely, extremely beautiful. You are definitely are in for a lot of adventures and experiences together in 3D Earth. So 2024 is a year for you to look out for. 
It's going to be massively transformational and also you're both awakening at a massive rate at the moment. So any time between now, things are going to just keep happening and you're going to experience a lot of soul level transformation. So this is the channeling I have for you, Jessica. And finally, what is coming through from your divine masculine multidimensionally is number one, he wants you to treat this like a roller coaster, right? So he wants you to embrace the right, enjoy the right. At the same time, practice calmness because he's anxious. So you might be tapping onto that a lot. Number two, to be able to differentiate your emotions because that will be very helpful in your journey right now because both of you are being very stressed because you're going through a lot of 3d level physical activations number three to take on all the messages that you're being guided from god and the universe and from your guidance team number four to enjoy 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 be happy be at peace be at love and things are happening finally for the both of you so just to enjoy the ride. So this is what I have for you, Jessica. I hope you have enjoyed today's channeling. And yes, I'll move on to the next person. Wait, actually, there's one more that's coming up for you, Jessica. So what is happening is that your starseed missions are also activated. So simultaneously, you're involved in several missions. Again, you're a very, very graceful soul very very patient full of love full of light full of soul expansion so these are the messages your guidance team wants you to know that you are a very pure-hearted soul and there is a lot that you want to do for the world and that's the reason why both you and your divine masculine even came to earth in the first place so that's what you're going to remember so a lot of that information is coming through so you may be overwhelmed but at the same time, this information is crucial for you to go on with your purpose and mission. Definitely, this is going to be a lifetime where you are able to exit the matrix with your divine masculine. So live life to the fullest. Enjoy everything that Earth has to offer because you may not want to come back here um, after you leave. All right. So uh, after that, who do I have? Okay. Okay, I have Dawn. Dawn, are you here? Again, Dawn, thank you so much. Really, you are like you are really sweet and you're like a guardian angel. You really looked out for me. So guys, I was a bit delayed today and Dawn was like, is everything okay? Are you on? So thanks Dawn for always looking out uh, for me. You are such an amazing person and an amazing friend too. So thank you for that. So what is in store for you today? Well, magical and miraculous opportunities are coming away. So you may feel like November started out you know, not very energetically, but you know what? The coming weeks are going to be massively, massively, massively amazing. So you are in store for an adventure of a lifetime as far as your career is concerned, as far as your work is concerned, you're going to start having a lot of miracle deals. I'm going to call them because they're going to be completely unexpected. Another thing, you are also going to be known as the person who does the impossible. So what other people may have given up on, you're going to make it happen. And your name in your industry is just going to rise. So you're already a rising star and you're going to keep rising. So amazing, amazing, amazing period for you right now in terms of career growth, career potential and abundance. So your billionaire code is being activated. So financial abundance is just showering onto you. A lot of golden, green, pink and silver energetic auric, your aura feel, that's how your auric feel looks like at the moment. Collectively between you and your divine masculine as well, there is a lot of 
direct mirroring going on. So he's also being given a lot of opportunities to grow and expand at work as well. So collectively, your energies are looking very, very bright and beautiful. And the golden, silver and pink lights indicate that you're going to have a lot of luck and abundance your way. Literally, you are going to attract opportunities with your eyes closed. So that's how things are being aligned at the moment. Things were stagnating a little because you needed the time to calibrate and recalibrate. And hence, that's why there was that little moment of dullness but it's going to pick up and again you're going to create the impossible and you're going to be praised a lot for that so what are the messages that i have for you with regards to your connection with your dm is that again expect the unexpected because anything can happen anytime from now the messages your angels have for you right now is that you are on the right track. You are expanding at a rate never before. Of course, you may be experiencing fatigue here and that that is because your physical body is adjusting to the energetic change. Your abundant codes are being activated. So you're going to experience abundance, affluence and prosperity in all aspects of your life. So be ready for your rich life dawn so that is what i'm getting and finally your dms um, higher self wants you to keep going keep expanding and he's going to admire you from afar at this moment because he likes to be you know in the shadows but he is watching you in 3d from afar and he's very proud at how far you have come because you have fought battles like never before and you have won them just like a warrior princess would so great times ahead dawn and i hope you have enjoyed today's channeling and then i will move on to the next person rebecca hey rebecca are you here all right i think rebecca is not here but rebecca again thank you for the angel number tip all right so be be ready for a very, 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 very interesting 2024 because you're going to make life altering, life changing decisions and they are going to pay off because you're going to make the best decisions to live the best life forward and everything is going to happen in alignment. But most importantly, you have to move. You need to make that energetic move because you are activated for your mission. So whether you like it or not, Rebecca, you are moving next year to better opportunities, to a better life. And your divine masculine is going to surprise you when you least expect it in 3D physical contact. And he's going to pretend like nothing ever happened, like separation never even existed. So that's going to piss you off a little. But again, you know, you are preparing yourself for awakened union. So you're going to like, you know what? I'm going to accept my DM as he is. So that's what's going to happen. Things are going to happen in a very snowy, snowy looking plane. So there's going to be a lot of snow when you're going to get together. So it's probably winter season, but there is going to be a lot of snow around you when you guys get together in 3D. So the messages I have for you with your Divine Masculine. So what does your Divine Masculine want to tell you? He wants you to know that he has been quite obviously stalking you in all your social media. So whenever you have no activity, he gets very concerned and worried. <laughs> so he's a next level kind of spy as far as your connection is concerned. He's always listening in to you. <laughs> he can't get enough of you but the reason why he's not translating this in 3d is because he's overwhelmed by his own life at the moment things are he's having a massive breakthrough as far as his career is concerned there could be a promotion that he's working towards too so there are only two things in his mind work and you 
That's all that goes on is in his mind, Rebecca. And his messages towards you is that he will come to you when you least expect it and to just keep trusting the journey and to keep trusting that he will return. Not in a wishful thinking kind of way, but he will 100% come to you because you're meant to be together in this lifetime in complete awakened physical union and that's all he wants you to prepare for energetically he wants you to shed 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 keep healing keep enjoying <laughs> the separation phase because you're not going to be in separation anymore for not long so these are the messages from his higher self his 3d self wants you to know that wow he admires you he admires you so much there is no limit to his admiration towards you so beautiful 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 times are happening so just be ready to be blown away by the beautiful things that are going to come ahead in your life i hope you have enjoyed this channeling rebecca and dawn dawn says i'm ready love you mother <laughs> thank you for everything you're most welcome dawn you are my favorite always <laughs> all right next up i have got shay I've got Diana, I've got Marion, I've got Irene, I've got Tamara, I've got Gabriella, I've got Monique, and I have got Catalina. All right, guys, my battery is pretty low, so just give me a moment. I'm going to just plug in. So just uh, give me a moment. I need to get my charger. <laughs> Oops. So I'm not doing a house tour, guys, so... Let me just get this out. See, I'm having so many technological difficulties, including the fact that I'm running on 10% energy at the moment. <laughs> All right. See, this, this is the day I don't... Um, I don't put I don't put my bed and then you know it has to appear on the background <laughs> so really guys I am actually very I need to like get my blankets up once I wake up but today I've been like meeting 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 non-stop since morning so <laughs> what I need to do it after I need to set up yeah so again apologies guys for the lag so let me continue with the channeling all right so now i have got right okay so i've got two four one two three four five six seven and eight so i've got eight channelings oh dear i think i switched off the aircon by accident so just give me a moment All right, Shay, what is going on for you? Shay, are you here? All right, I think Shay is not here, but what is in store for you? So, Shay, what is going on is that, again, your divine masculine is not a person who is pink rose. No, there wasn't a pink rose. I think there was an elephant. Maybe there is a pink rose. I have to check or check again. <laughs> But definitely, do I? I'm just looking. Do I have any roses around? <laughs> All right, again. So what do I have in store for you, Shay? So, Shay, what I have in store for you is that I am actually picking up a very, very interesting thing that is going to happen in the future for the both of you. I definitely see a lot of water around you. So it could either be a vacation that you're going or that could be where you guys end up together. A place, a house where you're surrounded by water. So it could either be a lake or a river or the beach. Definitely there is going to be water in your future life. So hence water is going to be an indicator that union is near 
So Shay is saying, Hamia, Frank told me good luck and goodbye earlier today. I would appreciate Oh, well, you know that goodbye is, is temporary, right? He always loves to say that. Good luck and goodbye. And then the next moment, he comes back into your life again. Again, he's freaking out every time you get close. He panics and he takes 10 steps backwards. And this has been a trend for a very long time. So you know his goodbyes don't mean anything at all, 100% all the time. So what are his messages for you? So tapping onto his present 3D, he's behaving like that for one reason, because of the fact that he is just okay he's overwhelmed he doesn't know what to do at the same time he's getting a lot of lot of visions about the future so hence he panicked and he has told you good luck and goodbye but i am predicting within two weeks he's going to come back again so he's going to be silent for two weeks, no movement, but then he's going to start communicating again and apologizing again, and he's going to start all over again. So his 3D mind did that because there's a lot of fear. So there's a lot of weakness right now going on with his root chakra. He's not able to anchor, anchor any kind of stability. So there's a lot of tension and stress at the moment. So that is what's going on right now. And uh, also there is a huge, huge moment of... He's going through, actually, significantly a throat chakra block. So that's why he's not speaking authentically. He's not living his truth right now. So whatever he says between now and the two weeks where he's going to be try he's going to try to be in silence it's not going to be true so anything he says after two weeks he's going to be more in alignment so right now what he needs is a reset a realignment a, a, like a chakra reset right now because he's panicking but as far as your energies are concerned they are looking good they are looking promising you're very detached you know this trend so you're ready for anything of course a part of you is sad why there's no stability but like i had said in the beginning of my channeling, promising times are her hate for you. So there is going to be a lot of water in your future and that's going to indicate awakened union for the both of you. So I hope you have enjoyed that channeling, Shay. So the messages from your angels to you would be that things are getting more and more promising. So hence... Life is going to get more promising. Also, things are in for a lot of transformation. So in other words, this separation is actually preparation for better times ahead. So that's what your angels wants you, want you to know. So with that, I'm going to move on to the next person. Rebecca says, oh, full-blown, teary-eyed. Thanks for the sweet message, Ruby. You're most welcome. All right, so the next person I have is Diana, always my favorite. Diana, what is in store for you, Diana? It's looking, looking really, really... Right now, what you are going through is you are entering a period of golden opportunities. So 2024 is going to be a year where you're going to expand not only in your love life with W, but you're going to expand in all areas of life. I definitely see you even expanding your family with W. In other words, you guys may have children or start the children making process. You're probably going to ask me, how is it going to happen? He's so unstable at the moment. But well, 2024, everything is going to stabilize. Things are looking incredibly, incredibly positive, rejuvenating joyful, blissful, and you're going to experience 3D life consciously, multidimensionally, in a detached way, but fully, fully enjoy. So there is going to be a crucial meeting that's going to happen anytime in the next two months. You're going to meet face to face and there's going to be a lot of heart to heart conversations taking place between you. So that is going to be soul changing, life transforming and things are going to, from then on, you are going to be inseparable. I hope you have enjoyed that channeling, Diana. And finally, you see, your divine masculine is so wants to talk. He wants you to know that he 
does things he does weird things because he just doesn't know what to do because half the time he does things to trigger you because he's being triggered so all of his actions of late are because he loves you not the other way around but of course he's trying to do certain things so that he can talk to you about all that in the future like how you love him and care about him unconditionally he respects that a lot and he does the same for you so that's what he wants you to know so shay shay you're most welcome shay she says i appreciate your time and you're most welcome always a joy and i hope diana you may be here you may not be here i hope you have enjoyed uh your channeling and um yes so next up i have got So guys, if I have like missed any one of y'all, please let me know. All right, next up, Nimith. Hi, Vaish. I'm still recovering from intense energies last week. It feels like a never-ending roller coaster ride. Thanks. Oh, well, again, October energies. Again, it was your birthday month. Again, a lot is happening with your Divine Feminine. So you are going through a massive reset. And hence, that's why you are... So what you need is a lot of rest because your Divine Feminine is going through massive anxiety and stress and you are tapping. In fact, you are kind of helping her. You are like sucking in all of her energy so that she will be peaceful and calm. So you are like taking in all of her pain so that she will be at peace, which is very admirable. But you also have to take care of yourself because right now you are still projected into two bodies you may be one on a soul level but you're still two <laughs> so do take care of yourself so the messages i have from your divine feminine to you is that she wants you to hang in there because she's still not ready to be in a relationship with you yet of course she's trying her best to remember and also she knows only with you she will have an amazingly incredible life so that is what she just needs time and and she's hoping and wishing you will give her that time and space to grow and become the best version of yourself because a higher self what your what her higher self is trying to convey to you is that there's no point getting into partial union you rather wait for the fully awakened union which is not far definitely 2024 there are ample of opportunities to get together as well so this is what's going on with you, Nimith. Um, I hope you have enjoyed today's channeling. And, and the final messages I have from your Divine Feminine to you is that she loves you so much, incredibly, crazily, with so much devotion and emotion. However, her 3D, as always, is blocked. And she's distracted. But that will smoothen out soon. Because the fire in her is like always questioning what is real and what is not real. So right now she's working on detachment and surrender. So soon she will come back to you as a better version of herself. So I hope you have enjoyed that, Nimith. And I have got Marion, Irene, Tamara, Gabriella, and Monique and Catalina. All right, what is looking? So, Marianne, always, always such a joy. Oh, before that, Frank. Hey, Vaish, I hate to add on to the end of your reading list at the moment, but my PayPal is down again, so don't, no worries about it, Frank. I will add you on to the list. <laughs> so you, so yes, I will give you a quick check about what is going on, but I will, you know, follow the order, like what the 3D world does, following a queue. <laughs> you know, I'm a person who really hates queues, but unfortunately I have to, if not, I'll end up missing somebody. So yes, so Frank, you'll be after Catalina. All right, because Catalina needs to sleep. <laughs> Don't worry, Frank is very, very understanding. He will voluntarily be the last Catalina. 
<laughs> oh well well frank no really really you guys such a beautiful bunch always such a joy to to do these readings and channelings for you all so marion what is in store for you well you see usually i'll start with an overall channeling for you but today your divine masculine is coming right through in he wants you to know that he is in the mode of worshipping you because he is in so much admiration and he can't stop thinking, fantasizing about a future that you're going to have together. He's having a lot of dreams about you lately, even past lives, even star lives, even star seed lifetimes. Literally, he's awakening and remembering missions and he's asking you if you do so too and actually because you know i'm between the both of y'all um channeling energetically you are also awakening to a lot of missions right now and most of your missions marion is together so union fully awakened union for the both of you is very 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 near at the moment you're both no longer going to have any gaps. The only thing right now is, you know, there are a few 3D obstacles on your way, but that is going to be settled by the end of the year. Another part of my channeling and reading for you is that right now you are being given amazing opportunities for career growth. So your angels want to remind you that please, do everything you can. Keep learning. Keep expanding. Because life is looking incredibly promising for you in 2024. So right now, it is about skills. It's about expanding your skills as much as you can. Also, at the same time, you are being guided by your Divine Masculine. You are guiding your Divine Masculine because simultaneously you are embarking on your Twin Flame missions as well. Because they are all energ energetic, they are happening right where you are. So more activation codes are taking place. There's a lot of astral meeting that is going on. So hence, you might feel a bit of fatigue when you wake up because both you and your DM have been meeting up a lot in dream state in the astral. And you have been having a lot of exchanges, soul level exchanges. It's almost like you are meeting up in 3D all the time, but you're doing it astrally. So a lot of astral traveling is taking place. In terms of your chakras, again, beautiful, beautiful golden and pink light are being woven into one another. Massive, massive, massive expansion going on right now. So again, there is so much potential, so much love, so much hope, so much gratitude going on. You're both grateful for having met at this point in your lives where you're both going through massive changes as far as your life is concerned. Oops. Also, energetically, what you're experiencing is also what you call the multidimensional encounters. So when you're astral meeting, you're not really meeting each other, you're traveling to different lifetimes and you're also neutralizing your, your versions of yourself in other timelines. So what is happening between both of y'all is what you call multi-dimensional union, literal multi-dimensional union that is taking place between the both of you. And the reason why you're also meeting up in the astral a lot is because you are doing a lot of your missions on the astral level, not only for Earth, but galactically. So right now you are in busy, busy, buzzing, busy, buzzing mode right now, Marion. So you may feel a little bit of tiredness, but that is coming from the massive energy work you're doing. You're also being called to be a healer to pursue your healing mission on earth as well. So you may um, embark in careers related to healing. That is definitely on there, projected for you. Your divine masculine is going to see you more in the 3D that is coming up. So that is coming up massively 
massive, massive, massive uh, chances of 3D meetings are coming your way. Again, God is with you. Your guides are with you. Your galactic team is with you. So embrace the change that is coming. You are also being supported a lot on a 3D level. So you will feel that you're being assisted. So even career-wise, you will have more and more support. Family-wise, you'll have more and more support. All of that is coming in. Also, an abundance period is opening up. So you're going to have a lot of financial abundance coming your way to Marion. So that is looking very promising. So what are the messages from your Divine Masculine's higher self? He wants you to know that things are looking extremely promising, as always. At the same time, you need to also take a break when you need to because there's a lot coming up and to focus on your goals and desires as well because this is the time for you to go through a massive app upgrade in every area of your life and he will support you energetically always. Messages I'm having from your guidance team, from God, from the universe is that Marion, you are glowing. You are shining like a diamond right now. Keep honing your skills, keep expanding, and before you know it, you are going to live your dream life. And opportunities will just come in your way, and you are also going to be in a fully awakened union with your Divine Masculine, and you're going to be free, life is going to be fun, and there's a lot of joy that is coming up as well. All right, next up. Oh, you mean this pillow? Uh, Catalina, this is the pillow. <laughs> it is pink. It could be a rose. <laughs> so don't worry. You'll be fine. Yes, you are definitely sleep deprived, Catalina. <laughs> So curious about you. I think I have to change. I did see a pink rose. Probably not too, but my no. It is a, it is a pink rose. So all right, Marion. Yes, I've been very tired lately and asked a break from my DM. Thank you so much, Vaj. Blessings to you always all. Thank you so much, Marion. Blessings to you always too. Yes, the fatigue is because you have been doing a lot of mission-related energy work and astral traveling. Hence, best thing you can do is stay hydrated, drink a lot of loads and loads and loads of water as well. And um, also, you know, routine, healthy diet, healthy life, good sleep cycles, and then you will be able to balance the astral traveling and the mission-related energy work that you have been doing and everything will be in a line and your dm understands um even the break because he's energetically supporting you of course he wants more and more communication with you in 3d but he understands that too so all's looking good all right so i have got tamara i've got gabriella i've got monique i've got catalina and frank wait i have Irene first. <laughs> you see, guys, if I have missed out anyone, please message me. I don't know why. Today is just probably I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, but you see, my room is green. My couch is green. My dress is green. <laughs> I love green. Anyway, I didn't mean to sidetrack, but uh, yes, green is my favorite color. <laughs> Uh, really like <laughs> my DM at a hard time accepting my choice of painting the room green so really so maybe at some time at some point I might come to a point of neutralizing the color to something more that he likes so yeah so definitely that is on the cards I might change the color of my room but I definitely changed the color of my bed sheets. You know, I used to be such a white loving person. Like I always, always loved white sheets. You know, it just gave me like with the green and the white. I just, but my DM loves gray. So you see, now we have changed the sheets to gray <laughs> right now. So, well, you see, that's why I say 3D physical union is 
comes with 3D choices too. So not necessarily it's always going to be all... Uh, you see, you don't want it to be robotic either. You want it to be beautiful so that you can experience soulful love and soulful life and soulful living on 3D Earth and enjoy that experience too, like making choices about the color of the room that you share. Anyway, Irene, are you there? Oh, Marion, I love the pillow too and I've commented green paint of your house in my mind. Yeah. Yeah, but my living room, it's um, actually, it's a light, very light green. But my room is like emerald green. <laughs> oh, well, well, well. And I have a lot of green dresses, even though to court, as in, I, I love to wear green to work a lot too. But of course, in the legal profession, the court attire is black and white. So my favorite colors are actually green and white. I love green and white. They they are my two like go to colors always. It just and and yeah, again fifty shades of green. <laughs> oh yeah, and all shades of gray and green. Yeah, and my DM is definitely fifty shades of gray, but not in that crazy way. So thank goodness. So I have a winner for that because uh, the real fifty shades of gray scares me all the time. <laughs> but again, too, that is an expression of love. Um, a topic for another time. So let me do my last five channelings before Catalina is like forcing herself to stay awake. So Erin, are you there? All right, Erin, um, I think you're not there. You probably waited and you fell asleep too. <laughs> All right, so what is in store for you, Erin? Erin, what is looking... So what is looking good is your you and your twin flame you are going to enter a more more in fact what i'm channeling is that your twin flame is going to give you a lot of support for your career so right now you have already embarked on that process of escaping the rat race and you are fulfilling your passion so your creative zone is expanding completely fully so at this moment Whatever you create is going to turn into gold. So, Erin, you have the support of the universe. You have the support of God. You have the support of your twin flame. All you have to do is transfer that energy into action. So that's what's going on in the physical plane. Energetically, you are also being activated for your missions at the moment. So both you and your twin flame are going to partake in mission-related expansion and expressions of life so it's a very cool period because you're going to like creatively expand your work life at the same time you're also partaking on energetic mission so keep going on that nature exploration work because you're activating a lot of energetic codes and your Divine Feminine, she's fully supporting you. I mean, your twin flame, again. Your twin flame is fully, fully, fully supporting everything that you are doing, both energetically and physically. So between the both of you, things are looking very balanced and authentic. However, the time has come where you have to act and expand because you may be given all the opportunities, but if you don't act, then the doors are going to close and new doors will open. And that's not too bad too. But right now, many doors are opening for you and you have a lot of choices. So pick the best and live your best life with your beautiful twin flame because things are looking promising than ever so the messages i have from her to you will be that she is so excited and thrilled about what life has to offer very excited about the future that you're going to embrace together and she wants to she wants you to know that she's extremely extremely proud of you and that she will do anything and everything to support you because she knows you have had a hard life and she would never want that again for you. So she will keep supporting you no matter what. So those are her sweet messages to you. And her 3D is also feeling much more lighter. Both of you are feeling 
very much in balance at the moment and that will keep growing i hope you have enjoyed that erin and next up i have got tamara tamara are you here or have you <laughs> i know because these channelings drag a lot most of you are like oh my <laughs> Yes, Catalina, it is, it is, actually. Yes, all right. Tamara, do you have a specific uh, question or do you just want me to do a generating, sorry, general <laughs> channeling about you and your divine masculine? Again, Tamara, always a joy to read for you, you know, from the time I did that beautiful soul report to you. And I think the very first um, lives when I did, you were here as well. So what is looking for you? Again, always bright, always, see, one thing about you is that there's always a lot of light in your collective energy field. And both of you are always about serving humanity, about serving, collect, serving the collective in more than one way. So you're always doing a lot of things that are consciously and subconsciously supporting a lot of other people. So even your day job, for instance, you may feel like, hey, it's just a normal job, but actually you are impacting and affecting a lot of people and the system itself. Another thing is that because your energy is so, it's so addictive, people always love hanging out with you, Tamara. That is like, because you, you're meant to anchor the energies of fun, joy, ecstasy and and another part of you is compassion it's about teaching people to trust and to surrender so you because you have all these qualities whenever people come to you be it friends or family even your own divine masculine they feel very safe and you too are also being activated you have been activated to your missions a long time now but right now, you you both are being activated to a series of new missions. So you may find yourself traveling to exotic places quite randomly again. And even though your DM and you might not always do these missions together, there are some solo missions for the both of you too. But there's a lot of energy greed work for you in 2024 so you may be moving a lot but they will all be mini travels so not long travels so a couple of short travels again you will be like why am i going here but you will be there but these locations are going to be exotic so it's also going to be joyful for your 3d self but multi-dimensionally there's a lot of work involved so astrally, there's a lot of astral traveling that is taking place for you at the moment. So again, you might feel a bit tired. But you are also being given a lot of energetic support and codes. Wow, yes. So yes, Mexico is going to be a holiday and energetic work from the galactic team too. So have fun, Tamara. So you're going to have a very, very wonderful mission ahead. So again, you have been astral traveling a lot. So in your dream states, you may not even remember your dreams because you are fully leaving your body for astral projects. So you're not only doing a lot of earth-based missions, both you and your divine masculine are doing a lot of galactic missions because right now the energies are very, very, very much intense all over the galaxies. So as far as you take 3D, 4D, 5D, 6d 7d things there's a major upgrade going on everywhere so hence why your mission work is not just limited to earth at the moment there's a lot going on galactic galactically so you may feel like you are in many places simultaneously and you're like oh, i'm just tired like where am i so you're doing a lot of work so anything you do there is a soulful purpose. You see, that's the reason why you never remember your dreams because you're completely out on mission. So when you are on mission, often you don't remember your dreams. But when you wake up, you'll feel like, oh, wow, that was tiring. But you don't remember your dreams, so you have no clue what happened. So that is an indicator that you're out in mission. But now that I'm channeling, you have been 
going on a lot of galactic missions in the last three months. So everything that you're doing, both in 3D Earth and multidimensionally, it's all building up to your future. So in the future, of course, you know, you're going to have very blissful, stable, multidimensional, 3D physical awakened union as well. And it's going to be very, very stable. Another thing that comes up is that you both volunteered for everything that's happening. So even the separation, even the union, everything was pre-planned before you entered Earth. So both you and your twin flame came with mission on mind. So you were willing to go through all of these experiences because they were part of the mission. So if I were to generally say how your life on Earth is, 99% is mission related. 1% is more of, you know, life, life. But 99% you wrote these missions for yourself and you're living to them. You have been very, very good. So your angels and the galactic team wants you to know that they are very proud of you. Hence, that's why they're giving you more missions because you are so good at what you do. So again, have fun in Mexico because you're going to do a lot of... Um, missions energetic so even when you are in the ocean even when you are hiking in the forest everything is going to be mission related so there's going to be a lot of surprises ahead for you tamara and um, finally your divine masculine wants you to know that he admires you and he's fully in love with you not only in this lifetime forever and ever and he is awakening at a massive rate right now just like you both of you are just in it for a multi-dimensional expansion which started from the moment you're born and it's just going to get better and better so i, I hope you have enjoyed this channeling tamara and next up i will move on to gabriella so gabriella i know you've been waiting a while and you had a question let me see if i can find your question Vaish, whenever you get to me, if you get anything in regards to my twins' karmic marriage, I'll appreciate it. Ah. All right. Okay, you see, again, you see there are a lot of permissions involved, right? especially when you try to tap into the karmic's energies. One thing I can say is that your person's karmic is a very, very closed person, very, very paranoid person, very, very nervous person. And hence, right now, that person is going through a lot of stress, a lot of migraines, a lot of pain because of the fear that her connection with her husband is breaking down and she's not able to accept it. So it does look favorable to you, but it doesn't look favorable to her. So hence, your Divine Masculine is going to be stressed up about that. So your twin is going to go through massive stress and you are going to mirror that. So it's going to be a very stressful period for the both of you because of the karmic. So learn to detach. Your emotions are not your emotions, but rather your person's wife's emotions. So that's how you have to see it. So hence, Gabriella, the messages your DM have for you is that you have to stay calm, you have to stay patient so that you will attract the best life possible. So hence, yes, they are going through a very, very, very crazy period. So it's one of those divorces that is not exactly amicable. So a lot of pain and a lot of stress. In other words, she has become a monster. So she's going to make divorce very difficult for your divine masculine hence why you have to differentiate gabriella and you can do it keep surrendering to god keep surrendering to the universe and remember that your person is yours always that person is going through a divorce with has been just a passing cloud temporary so once you realize that what you can do is keep sending love to your divine masculine and once the divorce finalizes once he has that break you will get into a much better place. I hope you have enjoyed that channeling, Gabriella. And then I have got Moni. Moni, are you here? 
It's been a while since I saw you. I think you have been, um, you have been, um, you have been off Facebook too, right? I guess. So again, uh, your question is, I think Moni is not here, probably <laughs> she fell asleep. But it's interesting. I'm starting your channeling at 11.12. Yes, you see, perfect timing. So thanks, Moni, for waiting. <laughs> and Gabriella, you're most welcome. I'm so glad I'm able to do this channeling. Yes, I, I noticed because I didn't see you in my lives. I really thought that Moni, Moni is going through um, what you call and a technological break. <laughs> so what is looking for you and um, Eric for November? Again, it's looking very, very promising. A lot of energetic love messages are going through. So there's a lot of 5D communication between the both of you. So keep being open and keep talking to each other in 5D. In 3D, he might be a little crass because that's who he is as far as his 3D personality is concerned. So what is going through, what is happening right now is very, very, very much interesting. What is going on is that I see a shift in his personality, a change in his personality. I feel like he's warming up. He's becoming more and more romantic so you might experience that in 2024 you know you might find the warmth in him you might find that that really calm and you might find that warmth and calmness in him Again, there's a lot of direct mirroring going on between you as far as the energies of November is concerned, but it's going upwards. Again, you have, you are tapping into higher energies at the moment. There's a lot of communication that is happening with the higher dimensions. So there's a lot of um, expression, heartfelt expression going on between you both. So the messages that I have from your DM to you would be, to be patient with him and he also wants to apologize to you for not being his best self. So half the time he was pretending to be mean and bad, but he did it because he was ignorant of your connection, but now he's surrendering. In fact, he has surrendered. He can no longer take you out of his mind. So he's saying that, let's have a truce. I can no longer do this anymore. You are mine and I am yours and I am surrendering. So this is what his 3D self is telling you. So these are his messages from 3D. What is his 5D self saying? 5D self is keep doing what you got to do. Moni, right now you are upgrading yourself. You're expanding yourself. You're expanding your skills. Keep doing that because it's a magical period for you to grow, to attract more financial abundance, career opportunities as well. So keep doing that. And his higher self is fully supportive of all that you do and he will keep supporting you every step of the way. So the messages I have from your guides are that you are doing amazingly well, Moni. Keep doing what you're doing. Life is looking amazing. Love is looking amazing. Things are extremely promising. So you have to no longer worry about things anymore. Just surrender to God, go with the flow and everything will be in alignment so these are the messages i have for you energetically chakra wise your dms uh, throat chakra still needs a lot of work his third eye chakra needs a little bit of work but more than that his solar plexus and root chakra needs a lot of work hence that's why the fluctuations you may be tapping into his energies once in a while so it's his energies not yours as far as your energies are concerned they are looking more promising they're expanding little bit of work but it's looking good i hope you have enjoyed that channeling and catalina you know your patience <laughs> if you are here please do say hi so that i know you have not fallen asleep <laughs> so what is in store for catalina and her divine masculine well, the team is very rosy, so I'm going to start off with the rose. <laughs> so, Catalina, I'm glad you are here and you have not fallen asleep because I think right now it's 
3 a.m. is it? No, it's 4 a.m. Because we are eight hours now. Basically, red roses, are sh pink roses are everywhere around you. You'll be seeing more and more pink. And things are really, really going on the upward end. And, oh, 4.17 a.m. Actually, 4 a.m. is a very auspicious time um, in... Um, in the Indian culture, it's called the Brahma Mugurta, the the time where the creator is awake. Again, I have seven viewers and 77 comments, so it's looking extremely good, and it's 417. So again, sevens and pink roses are going to be the theme of my reading for you. What does your divine masculine have to say to you? All the 3D front that he has for you is, again, it's all a front. It's a pretense. Internally, he's going through a massive soul expansion, Catalina. He's going through a series of inner battles and catharsis that he doesn't quite discuss with anyone because no one understands. He is trying to get into a routine of exercise, so he is trying to embrace outdoor activities. He is connecting with some old friends so that he could, you know, he has got friends to to embark on, on certain activities, but it's all male friends, so you don't have to worry. Again, he has no time. So even in the little minimum time he has, he's trying to build a routine. He's trying to sleep well, eat well, and trying to build that routine so that he doesn't fall ill. So lately, he may have seen the doctor, and the doctor is probably telling him that you need to balance your life right now, and you can't be a workaholic. Hence, I see him connecting a lot with nature. So he might be going on walks, something that he just adapted recently. And he's also even doing meetings in nature. So some of his meetings with his colleagues, he's, he's trying to organize those kind of activities where he's exercising and at the same time working, you know, as usual, high achiever tendencies. But you are always in his mind, Catalina. The core of his living is you. All he thinks about is you and how he wants to come back to you as a better version of himself because he keeps replaying the past where you were not able to be together in complete happiness. So he doesn't want the same thing to happen again. He wants to come back and be in a peaceful connection with you. Hence, that's why he's preparing himself to, to get to that place where he looks more attractive to you. You know, he's got a fit body. And, and so he's working on every aspect of himself. So you are in for a surprise, a multi-dimensional surprise when he walks right back into your life. So these are the messages from him that he is not doing well, but he's trying to do well. He's not doing well because you're not around, but he's trying to do well because he wants to be better for you when he comes back. I hope you have enjoyed that, Catalina, and it's worth the wait because you waited a long time. And Moni, Moni says, beautiful, thank you, V. May God bless you immensely for my channel. Oh, thank you so much, Moni. Always a pleasure to read for you and may God bless you immensely too because you're such a beautiful soul. And again, it's such a joy to read for you, Moni. You are truly amazing. Again, each and every one of you all, I enjoy so much reading for you all because you are such beautiful souls. And finally, Frank, I don't know if you are here. If you are here, hi, Frank. But if you are not, because I know you have a lot of responsibilities. But what is in store for you energetically? So energetically, there's a lot of direct mirroring going on as far as the energies are concerned. So what is going on between you and your divine feminine is there's a lot of astral traveling and astral projection going on. So in other words, this is something that you pre-planned be even before coming to earth. Every little choice both you and your divine feminine made was part of your galactic mission. Of course, you left about 10 to 20% open because, again, you are a spontaneous person, Frank, and you love to embrace change as it comes. So you are very flexible. As far as missions are concerned, you are like favorite for mission teams because you are the most flexible person and you can be thrown surprises and you will still 
fulfill your mission because you are very, very anchored to your core. And so is your divine feminine. So anything that you guys do together, it's always. So you may be, um, you may be going through pockets of separation, but you're still fulfilling your missions wholeheartedly to the best. So that is the beauty between the both of you. You guys are always, always doing things to the best. But right now, there's a massive shift going on because as far as soul expansion is concerned, what is going on right now is a major, major upgrades between you and your Divine Feminine. So the energies are looking extremely, extremely intense. A lot of solar plexus upgrades are going on with your Divine Feminine. So it can be, it can be heavy for her. <coughs> as her crown and third eye chakras are awakening too. So right now, all you can do is keep sending each other love and light because that's how you can do to support. Again, there are some 3D challenges that you're both experiencing. It could be work, it could be family, but everything is going to smoothen out and a beautiful future is awaiting. But 70 to 80% is soul mission based. Um, twin flame mission based and collecting mission based so you're going to have more and more missions coming your way and again you're a star at delivering missions because frank you are amazing not only you're such an amazing friend and an amazing student you are amazing at everything and you're such a gift to the divine feminine collective and really you have embarked on your 3d mission which is supporting the twin flame collective the divine feminine collective again frank is a reader in our group guys so if you guys want to request for reading frank is your person diana is your person stephanie is your person you know really i've been training amazing 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 high potential students lately and these guys are going to blow your mind away so please feel free to request for them and again you guys can always request for me for free readings too frank i hope you have enjoyed your channeling if you're around but yes so that is what's going on between you and your divine feminine it's looking very very exciting many adventures many missions and you activated for many things so go for it and all the best so guys, I am ending my channeling now. If anyone needs a channeling, this is your last final 60 seconds because I'm going to end. I think this is the longest life I've done in a while. So thank you all for staying back. I only see five of y'all and I'm sure Catalina is one of them. Again, Catalina, please go get some sleep. Again, for those of you who are interested, I have opened up spots for the 1111 special Twin Flame Portal Healing. Do sign up for it spots are being taken up quickly i'm also having promotions and i've also introduced new services so do check out my website another thing i wanted to share is that this um time is looking very promising and tamara i really hope you enjoyed your channeling i know it was quite long again i haven't channeled for you in a while but thank you for staying tuned and all the best Tamara to you always and uh, Catalina again <laughs> one of the five one of the six who are probably present and uh, for all of y'all who have stayed back I know it's not exactly fun waiting I personally don't like cues and it's not my favorite thing either but you know I have to follow an order if not I'm going to miss out people um, again, thank you all for your kind tips and generous tips always. And it's such a pleasure to do this live channeling for all of y'all. Please do check out my website for all my services. And uh, if you have no more questions about today's topic, I'm going to say bye. Right now, I've also introduced a new November sale. So do check that out under stall. So again, let me show you that. So I have introduced a whole bunch, but again, I'll always recommend the soul realignment blocks and restrictions clearing. I know it's pricey, but again, it takes 44 to 88 hours for me to do it, but I highly recommend it. I also highly recommend the 3D activator for those of you who want a physical union. That creates miracles. Um, Katalina, is it possible that my 
time right now is one hour back because I woke up at two and you had started. Uh, probably, I think it has already started. We are eight hours ahead. It's 11.27 right now. And I know next week onwards, there's going to be a time change as well. I will be 13 hours ahead, I think. All right, guys, if you have no more questions, thank you all for your participation. I hope you have enjoyed today's live and I'll come back again with another beautiful topic and amazing channelings. Lately, I've been doing what your divine masculine is feeling every day. So do check that out in my YouTube. I have the list up there. And with that, um, again, it was really fun, especially for those who stayed back. <laughs> Thank you and um, all the best to you all and I will see you all next week. Again, if you're interested in a private service, please feel free to book any sessions, readings from my website and feel free to DM me if you have any questions. Again, we have a bunch of amazing readers. Check out their promos, check out our files as well. And with that, take care, love you all. And again, we have such an amazing team. Tamara is an amazing reader too. So if you want a reading from her, please request her as well. So it's an amazing, amazing, beautiful period, guys. November and December is so beautiful. So do enjoy the last two months of this year. And I will see you all next week. Take care and love you all. And heaps of um, hugs and kisses to all of you because you are champions always. All right. Gabriela says, thank you for your lives and videos. They are very informational. Oh, thank you so much, Gabriela. And thank you for being here every week as well. And if you guys want to leave a review in my album, feel free to do so as well. Um, yes. So you can check out my albums. I'll try to send a link, but I can't find it. But yeah, please feel free to leave a review on my album and if you have any topics you want me to talk about please uh, message me as well so take care and see you all next week